Hey, doers, Jose Ignacio here. As per usual, Stealthy Wood has a problem, but it's always a good problem here. Now we want to give customers an even better level of service beyond the classic model of selling. So what does that require? And how do we get there? Well, doers, it's after sales features. That's how we get there. And as the name suggests, are services that can be done after a sale goes through. Things like refunds, returns, and repairs are some common examples of after sales features. And though rare at Stealthy Wood, we do get an occasional return. Now here at Stealthy Wood, a good number of the help desk tickets we get are from customers who need these after sales features. Thankfully, help desk is integrated with the rest of the database. And with some configuration, we can actually easily perform these services all from the ticket form. Now, because I offer these after sales features, I can better satisfy my customers' needs. So enough chit chat, let's dive into Odoo and learn how to configure after sales features on a help desk team. All right, now the very first thing we want to do is we actually want to start on the help desk module. So we'll go in there and here we are in our overview. Now next, we're gonna to wanna to navigate to the help desk team settings by clicking on the configuration menu that we have up here and selecting teams. Now, from this list, you actually wanna select the specific team that you would like to enable this on. Now, in our case, we're gonna select customer care team. Now we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and there we see that Odoo has actually five unique after sales features. First up, we have refunds which will actually issue a credit note to the customer for either the full or partial amount of their order. Second, we have coupons, which will generate a coupon code that customers can use to get a discount or free products for their next order. And then following that, we have returns, which allows people to return faulty or damaged goods to us. And this initiates a warehouse transfer within Odoo, and it also generates a return label. So that way the customer doesn't really have to do much. Now the fourth one that we have is... Repair, which allows broken products to be sent in for repair. And this also creates a repair order internally. And lastly, always my favorite, we have field service, which will open a new task in the Odoo field service project so that you can plan and track on-site interventions. I can also create a new project board actually just by clicking in here, but I actually want to leave this one as is just because we don't want to mess with that right now. Now, I've already enabled all of these, so we can check out what these after sales features look like on the ticket form. Now, since all these settings are specifically for my customer care team, I actually wanna navigate back up here to my customer care team's pipeline. And we actually don't have to do much. We can just click on the smart button that we have right there and it takes us to the tickets. I could have, of course, also accessed the pipeline from the help desk dashboard by clicking back, then clicking on the customer card. But look at that, Jose Ignacio showing you shortcuts again. Now. Once the, we kind of figured out what we want to deal with, we actually want to click on a ticket received for a customer. And it was the one about lost package. Now, because I enabled the after sales features, I get some fun buttons for each feature along the top of the ticket form. Now that you'll notice, we have a few other options. All the buttons are pretty self-explanatory. If I want to issue a refund, I would click this refund button. And if I want to do a repair and so forth. The only one that is slightly different is the button for field service feature, which in this case is actually listed as create the task. And we're actually going to click that. And you'll notice this will create a task in my field service project. The field service project board helps me manage on-site interventions using tasks. When I create the task, I can then access it anytime with the task smart button that we actually, if I discard this and close this out, with the task smart button that we have over here. Now, even if I don't normally have user access rights to the field service application, which is usually, you know, pretty convenient, this allows me to be able to see those tasks. Now, the same actually goes for the repair button. If I create a repair order from the ticket, I can always access it using the ticket smart buttons or from the link in the chatter, even if I don't normally have access rights to the repair module. This is super helpful for checking on the progress of the repair order or for leaving notes for the repair team. Odoo will log a note on the ticket's chatter when the repair order is created and once again when it is finished as well over here. Now, the convenience of these buttons for after sales features can't be beat. Whether it's a refund, coupon, return, or repair, I can create these records with a click of the button like I talked to the customer or as if I was actually there with them. And I'm telling you, that's pretty useful. So. We're actually really quickly done. This was a very fast overview. So today we saw how easy it is to configure after sales features for a help desk team. 
I know my workflow will be so much faster and always more efficient thanks to the help desk integration. As you saw, I just click a few buttons and it's still integrated to the database. So be sure to check out the other Odoo tutorials for a deeper dive into all the things Odoo and everything help desk related too. So remember folks, so do, not oh don't. All right, bro doers, go grab something to eat.